So let me show you what I just picked up. I am insanely excited about this. This is the, like possibly the craziest, coolest thing I've gotten in a long time. It's got the dust cover on top of it. And I'm betting a lot of you never even heard of this. This is a Sony U-Matic. Now this is the first, the U-Matic is the first VCR ever produced. It is the first video cassette recorder. Now before this they had, you know, reel to reels, but the U-Matic was the first time tape was actually put into a cassette that could be played inside a machine. This is before Betamax. This is before your VHS VCR. This is the first time this technology was ever used. So this machine is from the early to mid 70s, probably like 72, 73. It's the VO 2610. And we're gonna test it out and see if it works. So this is the this is the cassette for it. I don't know if it's coming across, but this thing is massive. Much like the machine. This machine is huge. Way larger than any other VHS or Betamax VCR that I have. All right, so here's the control. Oh, powered it on. Like it interacted with the TV. Here are your controls over here. Check out those audio dials. That is so cool. All right, let's eject. Put the tape in. Now this tape has no markings on it. I have no idea what's on it or if there is anything on it. The guy I got it from said to just make sure I delete whatever is on there. So that makes me a little nervous, but we're gonna get to find out together what is on this tape. I should also mention that I got this thing for free. All right, so put it in, hit play. It's doing something. Let's see if anything comes up on the screen, it might take a bit. You can hear it going in there. Nothing is coming up yet. Make sure I'm on the right channel. Channel three should be right. Maybe it's just a blank tape. Maybe there's nothing on it. That's unfortunate. All right, so I've got the top cover off now so we can see the insides and just check how large this head drum is. That thing is massive. It's pretty dusty in there. I mean, this thing is 50 years old. It still works. Unfortunately, the tape does appear to be blank, but it works. There it goes. It automatically starts spinning when you hit the power button. Hit the power button, head starts going. It doesn't take the tape in until you hit play though. And you can't hit play until this auto off light turns off. So you have to wait for a moment until it's warmed up and ready. Make sure there's no moisture on the head that would damage the player. It automatically detects that. So the heads are going, it's warming up. Now, this would not have been something people would have had in their home. This is, would have been a really expensive, professional model for like uh, media, TV channels, news stations, uh, colleges, universities, organizations using it for uh, video editing. So this is not like a, a home version of this product. And I even have the tuner here. This is the tuner that you would use to find your channels and then set it up set a timer up to record something off of the TV 
So that actually came with it, which is insane. So this was Sony's first attempt at, at making a product like this. Later on, they were able to make it a little bit smaller. And that's when we got Beta. And then of course, eventually uh, VHS was developed. So while we wait for that, let me show you the size difference. So that's the cassette for the U-Matic. Uh, this is a VHS, so you see how much bigger it is than a VHS, and this is a beta. So yeah, quite a bit of a size difference there. Much larger, you cannot play VHS or beta in this machine. It only takes these huge U-Matic tapes. All right, we got the auto off light to go off now, so let's, and you see it taking the tape in, and we'll watch what happens when we hit play, how it, how it does the tape. So when you push the tape in, it automatically stops the head from spinning, but you push play, and then you can see it wrap the tape around the head, and then it would be playing. So that's pretty cool, a little bit different from the way most of the VCRs work. Looks similar, but I've never seen a VCR that wrapped the tape around the head the way this U-Matic one does. It like took it all the way around almost. So awesome. And this thing is beautiful. You can clean this front part up a little bit clean the insides out, get some more tapes that actually have something on them to play. The crazy thing about this, guy gave it to me for free. He didn't charge me. I did have to like kind of prove myself, let him know I have a collection of this stuff and that it was gonna be in good hands because he wanted it to have a good home. He didn't want to just give it to anybody and so I'm glad I'm the one that got it because, man, this is this is a piece of history. This is beautiful. And the fact that it still works is just insane to me. I need to get a side-by-side -side picture of it with a regular VHS VCR so you can just see how huge this thing is. Look at it compared to the TV behind it. Like, that's a, that's a big TV. That's like a 25-inch TV. And this is bigger than that TV. Crazy. What am I going to do with it? Where am I going to put it? Who cares? I'll figure it out. But I love it.